What is up everybody? Spidey here and as always I hope you're having a marvelous day. It is time for your annual review and I don't mean in business. I mean Marvel 2021-2022 annual review here. Uh, this is not a premium set from Upper Deck. This is on the lower end but I have to tell you what I've seen so far has surprised me and I think that's been the opinion of most but we're going to get into this. Um, I'm really excited about uh, opening this really for the first time. For me, it's my first box of 21-22 Marvel Annual. I did not open much of the previous year except for on EPAC. So, yeah, this will be fun. Uh, this is a meant to reflect on a meaningful year in Marvel Comics. So, the, the annual review obviously means, hey, we got Marvel Comics for the whole year. Let's put all that into a trading card set. This is pretty cool. We've got the odds here on the back. Uh, you can pause that for you if you want to read it. You can do that now. What I thought was really funny here is at the bottom it says, Open to legal residents in the United States and Canada except for residents in Florida, New York, Rhode Island, Puerto Rico, and Quebec. You know who you are. If you have this, it's contraband in Florida, New York, and Rhode Island. Give it back. <laughs> I have no idea why it says that. I will also point out that it does say here that from an odd standpoint, uh, it is based on the odd state it reflect on the average of the entire production run. No ratio is guaranteed to exist within an actual pack box or case. Packs containing battle booklets or crystal clear base parallel cards may contain less than the stated packs per pack of cards per pack. And Upper Deck is probably doing that because they're tired of giving replacement cards for lack of guaranteed hits. So not surprised to see that here in this set. And I think that's going to be... Uh, the norm moving forward. So let's take a quick look here at the images. We've got Wolverine and his first appearance type outfit. We've got America Chavez, Miss America, and we've got some version of Captain America, Aaron Asher. So uh, as with modern sets for someone like me who's 39 years old and not, you know, not keeping up to date with modern Marvel as much, some of this will be a surprise to me, but I will say I do like the box art. Looks like we got our ex- ladies here at a party we got rogue here with the glasses on we got jean gray looking great i assume that's who it is look at storm and all that flowing hair I like that and that looks like magic back there really do like the box art so let's get into this box all right the seal is broken you know what that means the value is gone but we're gonna have a good time so 16 packs five cards per pack all right Oh, we've got one more seal. There we go. Now we're ready. We're going to go ahead and just dump all of this goodness out onto the table here. Set that up there. And let's mix these up and get into it. In terms of what I want to hit, obviously I want to hit Spider-Man cards. That's my thing. Anything uh, Spider-Man numbered would be great. I uh, would like that. I would love to see the sketch cards. One thing about Marvel Annual... Even though a lower tier set, it does seem like the sketch cards typically pretty good. I mean, not every sketch card, obviously, but there can be some really nice sketches from really nice artists within this set. Last year, when Marvel Annual hit Upper Deck's EPAC, it sold out rather quickly, which was a surprise. Now, these really have a glossy, sturdy feel to them. That's nice. We've got our first hit. What is this? We've got... The annual impact here of Icarus from the Eternals. Okay, so we'll call that a hit. We've got Electra Nachos. <laughs> Anyways, Electra as Daredevil. Again, ooh, Ghost Spider. That's cool. I like how you have these dual images here. I'm trying to see what's going on in the back there. And then we have Onslaught. There we go. That's from my childhood. First pack down. Opens really easily. That's nice. Someone opened a lot of packs. And you know what? We'll uh, we'll take a look at the pack here in a second. We got our first double already. Not surprised by that. And here we've got Humble Beginnings. You know, the very humble. The one and only Dr. Doom. Victor Von Doom. And it says Super Villain Team Ups number 14 from October 10th, 1977 to Excalibur 23, September 8th of 2021. So it's showing where he <laughs> We started from the bottom, now we're here. I think that's what this is actually happened right here. Doom from 77 all the way to 2021. Humble beginnings. Let's take a look at the back. 
We've got the dual images here. And for those who, I mean, everybody knows this, if you've been around Marvel Cars for some time, but Doom has been banned. So this is the first time we're getting him back into trading cards, really since like 2014, 2013, 2014. So really happy to see that. And that goes with all of the Fantastic Four characters. There's my lady, Miss Jean Grey, Marvel Girl. But uh, those characters have come back. Oh, wait, guys. This card feels different because this is a canvas parallel. Okay. Canvas parallel. Let's see if I can see if you can see the canvas work here. I don't know. You can kind of hear it when I run my finger across it. So that's nice. We'll call that a hit. Going back to the box here to see what is the odds for canvas. Is it on here? Hmm. Don't see the odds right off the bat. Crystal clear premium inserts. I don't know, but nice to see the canvases as a parallel. I, I like a canvas card myself. We got a cool Wolverine art here. That's nice. And we have Franklin Richards, the very powerful Franklin Richards. Look at that power set. Energy projection, yeah, he just maxes that out. Can't really fight, somewhat durable, not very fast, somewhat intelligent, no strength. But that energy projection. All right, I said we're going to look at the pack. Here we go. We've got Noel. He's big right now in the Marvel space, especially modern. We've got a really cool image of Venom. That's awesome. Spider-Man getting the cameo treatment down here at the bottom, right beneath uh, Cyclops. We've got Iron Man and Wolverine, Captain America, and Hulk. Great characters. You know, if that's what represents modern comics, still the... Our favorite character is being shown. So we got a different color here in the picking out the top. So we'll get to that. We got Karma, another Miss Marvel, not Candace. And what do we have here? Number one spot, Moon Knight. Now, this is not a big, whoa, <laughs> got another hit there. Not a big hit here for the uh, number one spot. We're going to see a lot of these more than likely. It was a great card, but let's take a look at this Splash Ticular. This is something that's been in Marvel Annual, I think, for some time now. And we've got the Fantastic Four. Again, as I was saying with Dr. Doom, Fantastic Four has been banned, but they are back. And it is Splash Ticular. Ooh! And we've got N1S18. And that means we have a super short print. And the super short print on the Splash Ticulars is 1 in 256 packs. 1 in 256 packs. So... Double check me on the checklist, but I'm pretty sure that's what that means. That is a nice hit. Very good. And we got Sunfire here. This is a set that I hope to see in retail to some degree. Um, it seems like it's made for retail. We'll see if that happens. America Chavez. We got our annual Impact Doctor Strange. That is actually a pretty cool card. I love the gold there. And this artwork for Doctor Strange, always cool to get him in that meditation pose. Okay, there we go. And look, we've got another canvas here. You can really feel it. Let's see, you can see the difference, the way the light doesn't bounce off of that canvas. So that's cool. So that's two canvases. We got Miss Jessica Jones here. As the artist said when we did the artist unboxing, really difficult to make someone in street clothes look like a superhero. And we got the Loki. Very nice. All right, we got to get going. 16 packs here. Hardly nine minutes into the video. I feel like we're just getting started. And we got something here, something different. All right, we got Black Winter. That looks like Thor. And look, don't mess with the Black Winter. Look at that. Strength, intelligence, speed, durability, energy projection, fighting skills. I mean, the Black Winter brought death on a grand scale, hearkening the end of an entire universe. The cosmic plague enlisted the help of Galactus, who in turn transformed Thor into a new herald of thunder. Goodness gracious. Whew. Super powerful. Dependence. We've got another number one spot. We've got Heroes Reborn. And we've got another Lenticular. 
Splash Ticular, not Lenticular. And this is a Scarlet Witch. It's number 10. So not super short printed or short printed, but still cool. So that's two of those. And we got Mantis looking different. I'm not used to that book from Mantis. Let's get these stacked up. All right. Cersei here. And we've got, what is this? We've got a Star Rookies. Somnus? 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 Yeah, I don't, I'm not familiar with that, but I like the gold here. That's cool. Interesting outfit. Looks like he's got like the galaxy in his chest with some kind of crescent moon. Not sure what's going on with the eyes there. But there's one of our star rookies. Need to look into Carl Valentino's Power Over Dreams. Made Dakin one night with him seem like a lifetime. All right, we're going to move on from that one. And we have X-23. And this is another canvas. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. It's kind of interesting that they left all this negative space here, but it, it actually works. And this is, oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been calling these canvases, but look, it says variant right on the side here. I just didn't notice it until now. We have Dra uh, Drax. And we've got Black Widow in her street clothes. Oh man. Star Rookie here. Now, the Star Rookies, I think, are technically part of the base set. I don't know. I think they are. A subset within the base set. All right. Miss Belova. Very nice card. Silk. Sweet. Another number one spot. The Marvels. Oh, we've got some type of parallel here of Thing. This is a silver parallel. Let's pause just to look at the box odds on silvers. Does it tell us? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. Gold, crystal, diamond, premium, star, rookies, annual impacts, home beginnings, suspended animations. But I don't see odds on silver. I'll have to look that up. But that's cool parallel. Make sure there's nothing on the back here. Nope. Very nice. Some people don't like parallel, but especially on these lower insets, I think it's really a good touch because it allows to give you a high print run. Ooh, look at that storm. Very nice storm. Without having to... Uh, with uh, you know, uh, let me let me say that this is a variant of multiple man as a canvas, but allows you to have a high print run and create rarity in the box at the same time, and so you know it, it works. And it's a lot of fun chasing these parallels, especially if you're a character collector. We've got Noel here looking nasty. We've got another annual impact of Toad. We've got another variant here, canvas of Hercules. Molly Hayes and Nova. All right, Groot. What's up, man? Who is this? Phaistos. Another number one spot. This one of Captain America. Oh, we hit an auto, everybody. Jason Aaron. Jason Aaron. And this looks like to be of an issue with Dark Phoenix, so that's cool. Let's turn this over after we take a look at this magic card. Very nice. Avengers 43, March 3rd, 2021. Received an autograph of Jason Aaron. Very nice. I don't really know of Jason. And uh, that's just mainly because I'm not keeping up with modern comics at a super high level. That's cool. Love that cover. He's the writer. So that's probably our biggest hit up to this point. Let's see what else we're going to get. Kazar. Blade. 
Another number one spot of Shang-Chi. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is a tier one animation of magic. And what a cool card, guys. You know, <laughs> this is just like our childhood. You know, having these in a similar design as the X-Men and Spider-Man acetate cards. But this is a great one of magic here. I really like that a lot. Awesome. Awesome art selected, too. And I will point out, like, look how shiny that is. The shimmer and those, uh, you know, effects going back. Really like it. Very nice. Echo. All right, we've got four more packs. Polaris. Humble Beginning, Steve Rogers. How it started, how it ended, with the shirt off. Whoa, Scarlet Spider, and that is the canvas, so that's nice. Iron Man, the Marvel's trade dress in the background, that's kind of cool. Quasar. We have Immortal Hulk. Nice. Doctor Doom. Base card, but I like the art. Very good. Number one spot for Magneto, X-Men, the Trial of Magneto, number one, from August 18th, 2021. And <laughs> somebody had to hit it. Might as well be me. Gertrude Yorks. More like yikes. I mean, really? She, she qualifies a superhero with Above average intelligence and basically no other skills. Now she's part of the Runaways. I don't know much about them. Maybe she's a lovely, lovely character. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's keep going. We have Star Lord. Ooh, what? Come on, guys. H help me understand how that's Venom. That looks like Symbiote Suit Spider-Man with bad eyes. That, that doesn't make sense. Huh. Peter Parker began to look like Venom with the stone. Okay. Strengthened by the Norm Power Stone and his Symbiote Suit, Peter Parker, Spider, Peter Parker began to look like Venom with the Power Stone Peter was powerful enough to frustrate Hulk in the fight, in a fight, in a crossroads dimension. So it is Peter Parker Spider-Man. It is not actually Venom. So, as a character collector of Peter Parker Spider-Man, I technically have to collect this card. So it goes there. Gamma Fight. And we have another silver here, this time of Fatos. I'm not doing well on the silvers. We got Kang. So I've got three of 16. I'm feeling like maybe there should be one more silver left. And hopefully, for the top tier character. Oh, there's Miles Morales. Look at that. That's cool. We've got another star rookie. Horror? It's like borrower, but with an H. Horror? I don't know. Can't tell if she's nice or mean. All right, let's keep going. We got another variant, Karma, Captain America base card, and Spider Woman. Last pack, my friends. I'm guessing we have a silver in here. Could be wrong. Just a guess. Scream. Cool card. Better Ray Bill. Man. I got a rough day. Another number one spot. That's nice of She-Hulk. Pretty classic look. And, like I said, we have a silver. And it is Daredevil. I like that one. That's good art. Good card. Good parallel. And we have Faye Lavelle. Faye Lavelle is our last card. All right. That is our box of Marvel Annual. And uh, I did enjoy it. You know, this... 
pretty low price point for this box right now, under $100. And, you know, is it worth it? Well, it depends on what you hit. But, you know, in terms of what you can buy for under $100 for a Marvel trading card set, I think this is a good time. So, yeah, I'd have to have to say I enjoyed it. We got the tier, our uh, super short print splash ticular here, the Fantastic Four. We got the Artist Auto. And other than that, not much else other than what the box owed us. But still, would really you like this magic? Might be my favorite card that we hit today. That was fun. I do like the parallels, like the canvas variant here. That's nice. Good touch. That's not a variant. That's just a base card, but <laughs> Spider-Man. Yeah, X-23 is nice. That was fun. Thank you for watching. This has been my review of Marvel Annual 20. 21 2022 if you like this kind of content do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you like this video hit the like button for me and leave me a comment down below i do my best to get to those as often as i can and answer any questions that you might have anyways thank you for watching and as always i hope you have a marvelous day